And I think hearing is probably more important than seeing from the perspective of communication is the key and you see something you don't necessarily understand it but when you're spoken to it's probably more easy to process what is being said so i definitely learned to hear god's voice as jesus said you know my sheep will hear my voice um i guess he didn't say my sheep will see a vision but i'm not saying seeing is is not important but the word see can also mean perceive and i think this is the key to relax and don't stress to try and see in a visual sense because when people talk about seeing you've no idea what they mean you can't see what they see you can't perceive what they're perceiving in reality you're just going on what they say and they're describing something what they're describing could have been an impression it could have been an intuition it could have been a sensing or just a knowing of what that reality was it may be visual, but ultimately, you know, coming from a left bank grain background, I had to suspend my analytical view of trying to understand everything and figure it all out and form a protocol that would work in every situation. I had to trust the father that he would do best in knowing what I needed, when I needed it, and how he communicated to me was more important than sort of me trying to work it all out and try and do it in a particular way so i relaxed and rested and just allowed the communication to take place now ultimately i'm not saying we shouldn't practice and obviously the program does have a lot of things that are practicing but don't practice in a striving sort of way look to develop and find all of the ways in which communication takes place with you because it will probably be different for me and other people and then focusing on honing that skill without trying to do too much and develop everything at the same time and then struggle because you're not really tuned into the way god speaks to you so in old radio uh, sets you used to have long wave and medium wave and then sort of went on to FM, but they were short wave. And each of those had different bands and bandwidths of frequency that you had to tune into. So you switch over to medium wave. And in the UK, you had to turn uh, the dial to 909 something or others, hertz, I'm not sure what it is, or megahertz. Um, and you di tuned it in and you would sort of turn it down, you'd hear things and you'd sort of fine tune. You First you'd get sort of, and then you sort of fine tune it. And then you got a lot of static in between, but eventually you'd fine tune and then it'd be like you'd tune into the voice or the music and then you'd listen to it. And the same would be for long wave and short wave. Like in the UK, in long wave, we used to have cricket commentary in the summer on long wave. And then you had to have a different frequency, a different channel to do that. Now, it's a bit like that with God. Some people hear in the frequency of, of short wave, some people hear in long wave, some people in medium wave, and some people in, in a higher frequency. And you have sort of then it's sort of AM, FM, and all these different things. And it gets quite complicated. Um, and then now you've got digital radio and that operates on a completely different way of operating in a digital frequency. There, the others are analog. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.